Okay, boys and girls, we are working on a western snowplow um, solenoid isometric hydraulics. <clears throat> so the other day when it snowed 15 inches, my uh, plow decided to not work. And so I got it off today in the snow and uh, did some stuff on the truck and found out that it was leaking between the block here and between it was leaking here and then in between the block so on um, on this side there's three o-rings go in um, the block here So there's one that goes there, there's one that goes there, and there's one that goes there. These are your bolts, holes, and then these are two plugs, I believe. I'm not positive, I'm gonna go back on the schematics and look. So basically, it was leaking there, and you can see the O-ring here is busted. Blew that out. <coughs> And then somebody had this one in there, a little little bit of uh, glue on it, probably to put it together. <coughs> if you didn't take it off the machine, you can turn it on its side and you know, have to do that. But <coughs> excuse me. So found out that that leak was leaking there. But my other problem was is the plow would the plow stopped working all of a sudden and uh, my fluid was low so I filled it up with fluid and still had the same problem and the problem was is that the plow is when I pushed the up button it went to the up and went down to the left at the same time and then it just stopped <clears throat> and then it wouldn't go down and uh, in order to get it to go down, I had to, I had to um, loosen that screw right, that screw head right there that's on top to get it to go down. <coughs> and when you do that, make sure you got some safety goggles on because I got sprayed with hydraulic fluid. And if I wouldn't have had glasses on, I'd probably be blind right now. <coughs> so anyway, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> So anyway, we got it off and in the house here where it's warm and I got the block off and I took the three solenoids off here and uh, I got them labeled one, two, and three. But it makes it kind of easy because this is basically one and it's got one, one hole. This is two, it's got two valves and this is three. And um, so I got a mark so I know what the heck I'm doing and putting it back together. And then I got some notes here on the paper to tell me where these other parts go. If I can't figure it out from the schematics <clears throat> online. So what I had to do is I took all that apart and all these spring stuff apart, which is just basically common sense. So I had this one off. Excuse me. I had this one off. And you can push the solenoid in with a tool so it moves freely. Okay. This one you can I can I can show you right here. You can push this in, comes right back. And then this one um, is inside there and I could not get it to move. So I sprayed it down with brake clean and all of a sudden it freed itself up. So I think this was my problem. Um, one of my problems so make sure this thing works and then what I did is, is I put these back on the the uh, the thing here on the uh, valve and basically what it does is it sends a energy to this metal to move this valve inside the inside here and you can just use the 12 volt battery with some lines and then um, 
you know, not really obvious, but the um, this is ground and this is positive, the way it is on the truck anyway. Anyway, come to find out, if you energize this one, it works fine. If you energize this one, it works fine. If you energize this one, it the valve doesn't move. So I'm thinking this is my problem. And this one was stuck because this one was my problem. So I'm going to probably get this new valve and a seal kit and replace all the o-rings and whatnot and replace my fluid the fluid has never been changed i don't think it's uh it's kind of brown but anyway i think that's why the seal blew out is because these two valves here weren't working properly and something got jammed so i'm going to try that and uh let you know how that goes thanks